What is up everyone, this is Mo Tutorials here and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to change your DNS server for your Windows 7, 8 or 10 device. Uh, or yeah <laughs> so i'm going to quickly show you on what to do and basically if you don't know what that is you can easily change your dns server instead of it being manual uh, automatically chosen by your isp provider or however your computer automatically does it uh, this works for both ethernet or wi-fi so you don't have to kind of be like all right it's only one or the other it works for both and i want to quickly show you which one how to change it and which one to kind of go for so uh what you want to do is in the search bar you want to just search network and you can do view network connections this is like the faster and easier the quicker route to basically get there and you can see excuse me i'm connected to both um to ethernet i can be connected to wi-fi if i wanted to but i am connected to the ethernet what you're going to do here you're going to cl right click into this and you're going to click into properties in here when you're here you're going to click into the internet protocol version 4 and tcp ipv4 and click into properties so at the bottom you can see it's currently obtaining the dns server automatically we don't want that we want to do use it use the following dns server so you can use google's if i recall correctly let me just actually search it up google DNS. uh it should be yep this this was it 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4 so this is google's public dns servers that you can use this does make your internet faster it does kind of help alleviate some network issues it does a lot of the stuff i know some people say no for me it does a lot of network errors that sometimes happen they kind of go away a lot of issues that happen and it does kind of kind of speed up the thing as well you basically just press okay it'll connect and then you'll kind of be good to go so you can just see that and then the internet connection will still work you can even do a tester internet speed and again boom you have the google dns there's other dns servers as well as your cloudflare there's other all that other good stuff that you can do and yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, like I said, a very quick tutorial to show you how you can change your DNS um, instead of it being automatic. So yeah, um, if you have, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, just let me know in the comment section below. More than happy to help you guys out. If you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button, helps a lot. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that more tutorials out. Peace.